Christ is risen. Alleluia. This message is for children of all ages of the ELCIC or, frankly, any other children who want to listen. It's still Easter. Easter is such a big deal for us that we celebrate it for seven weeks. That's 50 days of Easter. I know this Easter hasn't been like most that you've experienced. There's so many things different in our lives these days because of the pandemic, the way that we are staying home and practicing physical distancing. There's so many things we can't do. I know you might be feeling anxious or frustrated or afraid or bored and I understand all those things. You want to be able to play with your friends, you want to go back to school, you want to go and visit your grandparents again or whatever. I understand that and Jesus does too. This time is very much like the time that the disciples experienced right after Jesus died. They locked themselves in a room because they were afraid. They'd heard the stories that Jesus had come back to life, but they didn't believe it. And they were afraid that the Romans were going to come and crucify them just like they had crucified Jesus. But Jesus appeared to them in a locked room and said to them, Peace be with you. Do not be afraid. And he came back the next week and did the same thing because one guy named Thomas wasn't there the first time. And he said, peace be with you, do not be afraid. And he let Thomas put Thomas's fingers into the marks in Jesus' hands where he'd been crucified. Later on, he showed up again when the disciples had gone back to Galilee and he made them breakfast. He brought up fish and he even ate it to prove to them that he was alive. And again he said, peace be with you, do not be afraid. Well that's what Jesus is saying to us now in this crazy turned upside down world we're living in. He's saying, peace be with you, do not be afraid. And I know you may not hear him and I know you may not see him, but he's there. So what if you got up in the morning and tried to remember that Jesus is right there with you saying, peace be with you, do not be afraid. And what if then you had your breakfast and you imagined Jesus was right there saying, peace be with you, do not be afraid. And what if when you're doing your schoolwork or playing with your brothers and sisters, if you have any, you remember that Jesus is saying, peace be with you, do not be afraid. Or maybe even your parents or guardians can remember that when they have to go to work because they're an essential service or with, when they're trying to work from home because they're staying at home too, that they can remember that Jesus is right there saying, peace be with you, do not be afraid. Jesus is with us, promising to be with us no matter what, all the time. It is going to get better and our lives will turn back into something more like normal. Peace be with you. Amen. Alleluia.